What up guys, it's your boy Manny Fresh coming in with another video and today's vid is an unboxing slash clothes that I picked up but before that I still gotta give a huge shout out to Scoop 208 for letting me be featured on his channel got a new, I got a new subs and got a whole bunch of new haters but it's all good. All publicity is good publicity. Pub I can't even say it. Publicity. All good is good publicity. So it don't matter if it's good or bad. As long as I get a reaction. Which is all I need to continue doing my stuff on YouTube. So it don't matter if you hate me, you love me or whatever. As long as I get a reaction. But. I was supposed to get a new camera last week. But it got lost in transit. So I'm waiting to get my money back so I can order an, a new one. For some reason I got lost in transit. You would have probably saw this in the new camera, but whatever. Let me show you some pickups I got. This this site had 85% off. I'm not gonna put it down in the description because I heard a lot of people got um scammed and I'm glad that I didn't get scammed. But I got this shirt with the six wonders of the world. It was like four bucks everything was like 80 they just did it to 90 I, I won't recommend it it's excesshype.com I think it's called it's a I wouldn't recommend it because a lot of people got scammed luckily I got my stuff I got this shirt for four dollars they had a couple decent stuff I guess they're going out of business so they're getting rid of everything all this costs like twenty dollars on karma loop and um, I forgot the other site and I got these jeans. Even though I'm not feeling these jeans, I got these for like four dollars. Everything was four dollars. The total came out to like twenty dollars, I think, for shipping. And then I got these eighty dollar LeBron sweats, which were on sale for thirty bucks. You see, eighty dollars. They were on sale for thirty bucks, and then I used my coupon and paid. $10 plus shipping. The closest I'll ever get to Nike Tech Fleece Pants because I ain't paying that much money for Nike Tech Fleece Pants. So it ain't, maybe it is worth it, but I just don't want to spend that guap on, um, on Tech Fleece Pants. 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 And here it comes for the main event an unboxing from a new brand. Never ordered anything from this brand. And I saw a whole bunch of vids on this shoe. And this was the one that popped out for only 85 bucks. It's a good shoe. A really nice, hopefully, the pictures didn't deceive. This is my first pair of Saucony, Saucony, Sahonies, whatever you want to call it. I call it Saucony. A lot of people have trouble coming up with the name. So you got that Saucony. I went true to size, size 11, and let's see if these are the real deal. Drum roll, please. And you got your peanut butter jugger time, peanut butter jugger time, peanut butter jugger time. Peanut butter jugger time, peanut butter jugger time. They call it the peanut butter jugger the jellies, they're um, a grid 9000. These Sauconies were, I don't even, you know, I'm always in Jordan and Nike and maybe a couple Adidas. And these really popped out to me. So I had to cop these. They're called the Peanut Butter Jelly Saucony Grid 9000s. If you guys want a cheap shoe, $85, I'll go with Saucony because they're on the rise with Adidas. Adidas making trying to make a comeback. Your boy sold the pirate black Yeezys, a 350 boost, and the restocking. So I'm about to cop them back. But other than that, hit that like button, subscribe, share. We have 450 subs. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter. You already know. Many fresh. Out, boy.